This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay, a pretty new plug uh, that just came out this year that I've been using a lot is the Savage Gear Panic Pencil. And here I am back in the spring, a huge blue fish, 16 pounds. Uh, so that was really my first introduction to um, using these plugs. And uh, hey, if you haven't seen this video, this was the previous one. This is a big brown shark coming up behind my plug in Long Island Sound. I'm going to just stop the plug, and sure enough, this fish is going to eat it. And <laughs> yeah, that was something. Yeah, if you haven't seen that video, uh, I would look back on my channel. It was the previous one posted. Okay, uh, striper fishing. So this is the six and three quarter inch, uh, two and three quarter ounce uh, Savage Gear Panic Pencil. Bone color. You know, I've been really using the bone like a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, it's very productive. And uh, so let's work through what I'll call a warm up fish here. You're right, these days it's what we'll call a slot fish. Uh, anything 28 to 35 inches you could keep. I don't keep any striped bass. I haven't done that in a long time. All right, these have excellent hooks on them, and I crushed the barbs down, so I'm just kind of looking at this guy trying to see which one to pull, and the rest will, uh, will follow from that. All right, and it's no accident that I really like this plug. Um, I was involved in the development of it, and wow, it took a long time with COVID. Uh, we, geez, I started talking with these guys uh, end of 2018, um, and uh, yeah, wanted to work through a season of prototypes and did that, and then and definitely COVID slowed things down, but all right, these plugs are on the market. They are awesome. I'm carrying only two pencil brands now. Uh, I'm carrying this and the Dark Matter Heavies, and uh, yeah, between those two, I really don't need anything else. Oh, yeah! <sighs> oh, big tail! That's a 30 plus. That is a 30 plus right there. Feel that rock. Trying to get up the beach slope to get a little height. Heading right for bad stuff. I got him on the inside now. You can see, he definitely hit a rock. Yeah, boy. That's the one. I 
Alright, so... I'm gonna keep this guy in the water. Reduce the stress. Okay. Before I even get the hook out, I'm gonna just, you know, get a little revival here. I gotta get that hook out. this guy alive here okay that goes a long way There's nothing okay Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, and that's how it goes if you leave them in the water. Oh. Right, a little over 30 pounds. It's a great daylight fish. Uh, but then nothing for, uh, boy, it's, it's got to be close to an hour. All right, so I'm going to show a trick here occasionally I can pull this off. It took a long time, years, for me to realize that this happens. Um, there's probably bass there. They're not hitting. You get a bluefish on, a small bluefish. They, it seems like the bass follow those. So I'm going to hook a bluefish here. I'm going to intentionally lose the blue, hoping there's a bass following. I, I've got crushed barbs, so if that bluefish jumps, probably I lose it. That's what he's going to do. Note, I just keep giving this bluefish slack. So there, just jump in and through the hook. I'll resume immediately the pencil popper. And there's the bass. And what I've seen before is for this to work, well, the bluefish's got to be relatively small. And if you see a bluefish, it's like one to two pounds. That's perfect. Um, I, and most of the time when I've been able to accomplish this, and if you go back on older videos, you... you I know I definitely had a case of this last year. Um, often those are larger bass, um, but this is still a decent one, and hey, I wasn't getting anything, so I'm happy to get this one. I've done that many, many times. <laughs> Let that bluefish come off. Yeah, so why does that work? Well, uh, you know, since it's usually a small bluefish and a larger bass, a larger bass than what I just caught, um, yeah, I, I think they see that bluefish as food. It, either that or it's a competition thing, but yeah, so it, it's, it's neat.
All right, and they make two sizes of this plug. Uh, like I mentioned, the one I'm using is the six and three quarter inch. They also have one that's five and three quarter inches, one and three quarter ounce, and uh, yeah, that's that's a great one too. And I have links to all that in the video description. All right, a little larger bluefish this time. Yeah, I haven't been seeing, uh, I haven't been catching a whole heck of a lot. I mean, I know I've got that one nice bass on this video, but it's been, uh, it's been kind of tough. I haven't seen too many bluefish even this size. Mostly it's been smaller ones when I do get them. But all right, we'll see as it starts getting cooler. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And check out my online courses at saltstrong.com slash skinner.